to be married? Thank you. You may be seated. Dear family and friends, I call upon all gathered here to be fellow witnesses with me in the marriage between Taylor and Javon. You are each invited to join us today so that you may share the joy that Taylor and Javon are feeling as they pledge their love and commitment to one another. Marriage is founded upon sincerity and understanding, which leads to tolerance, confidence, and trust. It involves respect for each other's feelings, weaknesses, and faults. You believe that those qualities which have attracted you both to one another can be best developed during a lifetime spent together. Marriage is the supreme sharing of experience and an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. Javon and Taylor met over their love of cars. Their love for cars grew into friendship, which then led to love. Opposites do attract. In Javon and Taylor's relationship, that could be true. Javon is very easygoing, patient, and always smiling and joking, whereas Taylor tends to be stressed and lose patience very easily. <laughs> but Javon's loving and easygoing spirit always calms Taylor, while Taylor's strength and passion drive Javon to be the best person he can be. These differences enable them to grow and learn from each other resulting in unconditional love and devotion. It has been said that marriage is living in love with your best friend. Love is one of the few constants in our universe. Only love is capable of joining living beings by their deepest essence, uniting, completing, and fulfilling them. Marriage is a symbol of commitment to create a lifelong partnership that is based on love. Marriage is not about marrying the right partner. It's about being the right partner. It is a promise of hope between two people who love each other sincerely, honor each other as individuals, and to wish to unite their lives to share their future together. Our celebration of the union of Taylor and Javon is shared by those who have passed beyond this life. Their roles in the lives of Javon and Taylor are no less remembered and honored as we savor today's joyous moment. Join with us then in fond memory of all these people. In their memory, let us embrace a moment of silence together. Thank you. The Bible has given us what may be the world's best definition of what it means to love. I'd like to share with you a well-known passage from 1 Corinthians 13 and offer this as a model for you in the new life you're creating here today. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. It does not parade itself and is not puffed up. It does not behave rudely. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked and thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things and endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. But whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we know prophecy is in part. But when that which is perfect comes, has come, then that which is part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, just as I also, I know that I am. And now abide in faith, hope, love, these three. 
but the greatest of these is love. Taylor and Javon also shared their commitments of love, and I'd like to share those with you now. Javon says he will always be loving and patient and love unconditionally. Taylor stated she will be always be kind and loving and always work hard to make Javon happy and be fun and spontaneous. But I'd like to invite them to read their own words they prepare for one another in their personal vows. I promise to be your best friend and partner through our lives together, to talk and listen on those good days and bad, to trust you to no end and appreciate you and everything you are, to respect and cherish your uniqueness and to always motivate you to be better than you were the day before. I promise to share your ambitions, your hopes and dreams as we build our foundation together. Remember, the second I put this ring on your finger, everything changes. Our old life is done, and we will begin with a new chapter. Javon and Taylor, before you were joined in marriage, I have to remind you the solemn and enduring nature of the relationship which you are about to enter. Javon, will you take Taylor to be your lofty wedded wife from this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live? And Taylor, do you take Javon to be your lawful husband? From this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live. The wedding ring symbolizes unity, a circle unbroken without beginning or end. And today, Taylor and Javon exchange rings as confirmation of their vows to join their lives, to work at all times to create a life that is complete and unbroken, and to love each other without end. Shane, may we have the ring? Javon, in placing this ring on Taylor's finger, repeat after me. Taylor, with this ring, I give you the promise that from this day forward, you shall never walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. We will walk together through life as partners and best friends. I give you my heart. I 
and let me know you have the ring. And placing this ring on your bond finger with you after me. And bond with this ring, I give you the promise that from this day forward, you will never walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. We will walk together through life as partners and best friends. I give you my heart. As this knot is tied, so your lives are now bound. Woven into this cord, imbued into its very fiber, are all the hopes of your friends and family, and of yourselves, for your new future life together. With the fashioning of this knot, do I tie all the desires, dreams, love, and happiness wished here in this place to your lives for as long as love shall last. In the joining of hands and the fashion of a knot, so are your lives bound one to another. By this cord, you are thus bound to your vow. May this not remain tied for as long as love shall last. May this cord draw your hands together in love, never to be used in anger. May the vows you have spoken never grow bitter in your mouth. May it be granted that this is done before God and be not undone by man. Two entwined in love, bound by commitments and fear, sadness and joy, by hardship and victory, anger and re reconciliation, all of which bring strength to this union. Hold tight to one another through both good times and bad, and watch as your strength grows together. In acknowledgement of this holy purpose and of the power of this occasion, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, as we come before your throne with our offering of love, we ask you to bless this union of marriage. We pray that you'll be the third strand that binds them together and that cannot be broken. May you be the guiding light shining on this chosen path of lifelong commitment to one another and to you. Amen. As you begin your married life together, hold close to you the words you have spoken to one another today. Life isn't always an easy road, as you both know. Rely on your faith and the promises you have made today to help you through those times. Ask God to grant you the gifts of caring and understanding in your life together, allowing that each may be for the other a counselor in times of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in all of your joys. In Matthew 19, it is said, For this reason, man shall leave his father and his mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then, they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Taylor and Jephavon, you have consented together in marriage before this company have pledged your faith and declared your unity by each giving and receiving of a ring. You are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. It is by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas that I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Javon, let me kiss your butt. Thank you.